Making these films has been a full-time job for me in the last 10 years. Jonas and I lived together from 2008, and the collaboration started naturally that way. Ingrid makes all the costumes and she develops the characters, and she also makes the props, and she builds most of the sets on her own. And while she, while she's doing that, we also uh, we write the story together. In the films, I tried to create a space for these characters who seemingly evolve and disappear, going from a more natural aesthetic to a more machine-like one. They're all part of the same trilogy, and they all exist in the same sort of universe. We always start with the characters, then we look for a location that fits. I think we use these landscapes because since they have very few traces of normal human civilization, the woods just becomes the world of the characters. So in a way we're using the natural landscape to make a science fiction world. When coming up with costume design and characters, I often find inspiration in a certain texture or some color scheme I want to try out. Some of the costumes take days and some take months. When we film, I'm at the camera and Ingrid is playing all the characters. After filming, we make one cut each, then we compare it and we mix up the best part of both versions. I really enjoy the process of making films. It's really exhausting, but it's almost because it's so much work. The finished film is like a concentrate of our life and ideas at the time, and it felt really worthwhile. The last years, I've spent more and more time making each costume, and I really miss the naivete of the early costumes when I just stapled and glued stuff together. And it's really difficult to go back to that state naturally. For the third film, I made a lot of wooden figures, and after the film was finished, I just kept on making them. If I try a new technique that I'm not good at, I get a little window of time where the naive sort of pops back up again, and I really enjoy that. The costumes and props we exhibit alongside the films in a separate room often, shown as their own sort of art pieces. For the music, we've been very lucky to work with Jan Erik Mikalsen, who composed the score for the first two films. And on the third film, it was Martin Langley. The films are meant to be seen, not explained, and I try to make films that are playful and open to interpretation. I have an impression of the audience getting a lot of childhood memories when watching the films. I had some very strong reactions to it. Some people can take it really seriously. Uh, and some, uh, of course, don't take it seriously. So yeah, it varies a lot.